So you can grade your manga now, which is interesting to say the least. And you probably have a lot of questions on what it even entails. In this video, I'm going to show you the entire process that I did with Beckett. And I've got 25 year old manga books that we are going to grade with them and reveal them in this video. All right, so Beckett is more famously known for their authentication and grading with trading cards and comic books, and more recently in the VHS world. Right now, they've launched the first ever grading service for manga, and you can see that there is a whole process and custom labels and all this different stuff that you would expect from a grading company. When they launched this in November, I was pretty skeptical. It seemed just like another thing to grade for no reason but then i really did actually start to process it and discover oh this is pretty much like grading comic books if you look at one of the recent sales beckett had a 9.0 volume one of one piece in japanese that sold for 1400 dollars. that's not cheap so there's clearly like there's value in this there is clear market now it may not be the only reason obviously but there is an actual sale that we can document. So as a collector and somebody who is probably curious about this whole thing, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video, let's go through the whole process together and put Beckett to the test. So step one is you just gotta find the manga that you wanna get graded. And I didn't wanna just pull anything from the shelf or use something that's heavily read. I decided to go through eBay because I assume most of you are probably going to seek out some type of volume that is in a near mint mint condition or as best as you can find so i decided to go and find first edition prints of one piece and not just the regular covers i wanted to find these gold foil covers so i found this one it had the first six volumes actually number one was a second print first print number one is a little pricey for this experiment so first print of two through six is going to work great second print of one it's still beautiful you can see all of these right here and they look to be in pretty decent condition and after further examination when we received to them like they're not perfect but they're still pretty good for 25 year old plus books the next step is to actually take it to Beckett and so what we did was we went to Collecticon Collecticon they had Beckett there so we were able to do our whole submission for our manga and we actually had one of the people on the team explain the whole process and kind of what they're looking for I'm going to share that with you now this is what your book is going to look like when it comes back uh, there are six different labels you can choose from, and we kind of, they definitely are like manga themed, so we call this one Speed Lines. Okay. There's like a Horror Spiral, we also have Listeria, Red Bridge, Cherry Blossom, and one more that I'm blanking on right now. Uh, but you, when you submit, you actually get to choose which label you want. And we okay. did that intentionally because people might want like a thematic match to their book. Okay, cool. Or they also just might want something that like looks cool color-wise. And then what are some of the factors you're looking at when you're manga, when you're grading a manga? We're grading the condition of the book. So what we're talking about is any crease, bend. I don't want to beat up your book on camera, right? Yeah. But you can see that there's a little bend here. Yep. This corner's a little soft. You've got some wear here. Yep. So those are going to be deductions on the grade. 100%. Right? And that's so, expected. I've graded enough things before. I know sure. how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> then, of course, we talk about things like soiling. Yep. You know, is it dirty? Does it have a sticker on it? Yep. Is it a, is it complete? Right? Is there an insert missing? We're also going to give you a grade on your page quality. So this looks white, so that's good. That's a, that's our best grade on page quality. Uh, but when you start flipping out some of the older stuff, you, know, you can get these off-white to white pages or cream to off-white pages. They look just a little bit darker around the edges. And so if you would ever want to resell these, we want the potential buyer to realize 100% what they're buying, which is why we would give you not only a number grade, 0.5 to 10.0, but we would also tell you the page quality. Cool. So this is a 9.2 white pages, near mint minus. This one happens to be signed. Yours are not signed. Mine are not signed. Yeah. No. Step three is you have to anxiously wait for everything to get done. So you gotta let them do their job and grade all your books. So at this point, if you were to go through the submission process, it's very similar to cards, comics, or anything else that they offer. You just hit manga, go to the Tankoban, and then you select the grading or slab only. Usually if you're buying something from eBay like I did, you'd go through grading, select, and do standard or express. Fill out the forms and all that good stuff. Pretty standard if you are familiar with the uh, grading process in general. The advantage that you have in this whole thing is that you don't have to wait days or weeks you just have to wait until I shut up and actually show you the books. So let's reveal what our grades are. So with the Romance Dawn copy, as expected, there were some issues and it got a 7.5, but overall, these are pretty solid. You can hear they're not going anywhere. They're not jiggling around. 
and they still present very, very nice. That's what I liked about these once I actually got them in hand. The build quality seems good. I'm pleased with it. I like what we got going on here, and I'm curious how they're going to adapt over time or just keep this look. Something I actually didn't know whatsoever until I got the books was I scanned the QR codes on the top, and there's no subgrades on these labels, but they actually give you some specific details and notes from the grader, so you have a better idea of why those books got the grades that they did. And regarding the grades, I am really curious over time how the population is going to grow. Are we going to start discovering that things like the 7.5 is what you're going to expect from a light play manga? So it seems like the grading process is very similar to comic books, where a 10 is nearly impossible. And I'm expecting as the population gets bigger that a lot of these 7.5s to 8.5s are going to be the vast majority of like pretty decently looking books. I will always say this and stay true to it that you need to do your research and grade what you love. If you love One Piece, grade it. If you want it up there, grade it. Don't grade it. I don't know. But the whole process is don't do this just to make a ton of money unless you have a very strategic plan and that's what you're really trying to do. But as a collector, you can really get caught up in booming markets and how much ROI you can have in the stuff and forget that you started this out collecting things that you actually loved. So I will say, I am happy to take these, put them on the shelf, and if I make money on them someday, wonderful. But right now, I get to enjoy the first ever graded editions of these specific One Piece manga, and I hope that this was valuable to you, and we'll see where this whole process goes in the near future.